Hello and welcome to ProjectWise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course, Document Attributes and Document Naming Convention. We will learn how to assign attribute values to documents, as well as using these attribute values to construct document names. We will also look at how to use ProjectWise document attributes to update CAD title blocks. If you remember from a very early lesson, when we drag and drop a document from Windows or File Explorer into ProjectWise, there was a dialog window prompting us to select No Wizard or the Advanced Wizard. When that dialog window came up, we chose to make the No Wizard our default option. So now, when we drag and drop a document into ProjectWise, it will give us an error because the document that we drag into the ProjectWise drawing folder has a special rule defined. And that is when documents get registered into ProjectWise, the document names need to follow certain naming convention. Otherwise, ProjectWise will not even allow documents to be brought into ProjectWise. In the later lessons, we will go through how this was configured. Let's go ahead and hit OK. For this lesson, we want the dialog window to appear where we can select the advanced wizard option. When creating new documents, where the name will follow some kind of naming convention that ProjectWise administrators configure. So let's go to the Tools menu bar, Wizard Manager. On the Document Creation tab, go ahead and click on the Clear Default button. This will make the dialog window to appear again, allowing users to choose no wizard or the advanced wizard. Similarly, during the early lesson, if we have chosen the default option for searching documents, instead of using the search builder, we can also clear it as well via the search definition tab. Let's go ahead and click on the close button. In the drawings folder, noticing these existing documents do follow some kind of naming convention, but not exactly what we want. As an example, we want the document names to begin with a project number followed by the area and the document type and the document level. And then to top that off, we want ProjectWise to generate a unique number for us. Using the above combination to generate a document name, it is an easy way for users to identify documents. So let's see that in action, shall we? First, we want to give our users a great experience to provide the necessary data to create documents in ProjectWise. We need users to go to the Tools menu bar, Wizard Manager, and then click on Advanced Wizard, Properties, Enable Skip Introduction Page, Enable Skip Target Folder Page, as well as Skip Template Page. So when users drag and drop a document into a ProjectWise folder, there won't be additional screen to ask users to confirm the same information again. This will reduce the amount of mouse clicks for users. Users only need to do this one time and not have to worry it ever again. Go ahead and click OK, and then click on Close. We have a couple of DGN files in Windows or File Explorer, and the names are test1, test2, and test3.dgn. When we bring them into the Drawings folder, select Advanced Wizard and click OK. Immediately, project number is automatically populated for the user, and it is read-only. This is the multi-use connect project project number. We can select the area, doc type, doc level. As we notice, each time we select from the pick list or the drop down list, it uses the information to generate the document name. And when we click the generate button, ProjectWise will work out the combinations that users choose. If it is the first one, it will give a five digit number and begins with one. If users choose the same combinations for the upcoming documents, then this five digit serial number will increment it by one each time. We can also enable show advanced generate options and enable the range of numbers that we want the drawing to begin with. For example, in the range to begin from 100 to 200, and then click on the generate button again. It will give us a five digit number and starting from the range we just provided. In the next few lessons, we will go through together how we collect the project number and auto-populate it, how we construct this pick list, as well as how we configure ProjectWise to give us a five-digit number. 
Let's go ahead and click next. The document description has the original document name and we can change that. However, for now, it is best to leave the description as is. This way, we can trace back the original file name once the documents have been imported and renamed to a new naming convention. Let's go ahead and click next. Any attribute that helps to generate the document name is a read-only attribute. Users do not need to populate all the attributes at one time. As the information become available, users can enter the information by opening the document properties dialog window. For the revision note, we can enter multi-lines. Users can enter Title 1, Title 2, and Title 3. It will automatically convert everything that users enter to uppercase. Some of these attributes can be used to update into the drawing border areas. It is often referred as title block integration or attributes exchange. Documents that are allowed to have information updated from and to project-wise are DGNs, DWGs, and even office documents. For more information, you can refer to the module Enhanced Environment in the Advanced Accreditation course. Let's go ahead and click Next. When we know who's going to design these drawings, we can select the designer and the drawn date will be automatically updated to today's date. This way, the designer knows that he or she will need to start the design ASAP. Let's go ahead and click Next. When there are multiple documents that are being dragged and dropped into ProjectWise, we can enable this option so that the attributes that we select on the previous screens will apply to the rest of the documents with the exception of the serial number. That will be incremented by one for each document ProjectWise creates. We can enable this option as well, so that once the documents have been created, MicroStation will be used to open one of the drawings that we just created. Let's go ahead and click Next. So as we can see, the drawings is open, showing the title block information that we enter from ProjectWise. During this lesson, we have learned assigning attribute values to documents, as well as using these attribute values to construct document names. We also learn how document attributes can be updated into CAD title blocks. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.